for the free tryout. Yeah, to try to see if you would like us to do your makeup for Halloween. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you a little bit quickly first what I have to use on you and then I can do whatever you would like me to on your face. Yeah, we don't uh, do on the body and things like that. At least not me. One of my colleagues might be able to do that, but I hope you can be satisfied by just me today. Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. So, I got this bag. With my makeup. And uh, I'm going to show you. One second. I have this palette right here with all kinds of colors and things like that. Yeah, with um, if you're wondering how, how I got to look like the way I did uh, without a black eyeshadow is because well, I'm gonna show you once more. Wait. As you can see, there's no black here, unfortunately, but um, my method, which is maybe not the most common one, is just using pen. Drawing where you want it to be black, and then you smudge it if you want it to be more, let's just say, natural. <laughs> and just so you know, um, I like to keep my brushes clean so every now and again you will hear my little device here one second like so okay that is me cleaning the brush okay let me just wipe that off quickly like so nice and clean Yeah, and I have clean hands too. I just got a little cut on this finger last night, so that is why I haven't been able to get rid of the nail polish because there's still some glue there from the plaster. Yeah? Okay. So, what were you thinking about looking like? You don't really know. Well, um, for me personally, Halloween is something fun to experiment makeup with and that is why for example this year I am trying out just to do black sculpturing that and a little bit heavier makeup on the eyes and I thought that looks a little bit like a demon a little bit like a skull it's I like it you would like something similar yeah maybe a little bit bolder yeah, I mean, bolder sculpturing. I would sculpt your nose as well, and your cupid bow, you know, under your jaw, and maybe even go black on the neck. Does that sound good? Okay. Now let's get started then. So I will use this pen, and then I will smudge it with this brush right here. Okay, but first, to make it more pleasant for you, can do like this instead. We draw a little bit on this to make it softer, a softer finish. Yes, I will. What I'm going to do is create really bold eyebrows, much bolder than mine. And then instead of doing like me, you will have your entire eye black. But I will, of course, smudge it so it looks a little bit dirty, I guess, and then we will sculpt everywhere, where you naturally get shades, exactly. Okay, so I first draw a little bit on this brush right here to create softer lines. Yeah. Let's get started then. I will start with, can you just do like this? Just a little bit, okay? Not <laughs> 
a little bit like Yeah, you're planning on getting a lot of candy? <laughs> well, um, I wish I could, but I think I'm too old now. If I was the one knocking on everybody's door, I think I would be, well, kicked out. <laughs> or they would just shut the door on me. Yeah. The other one? Now, um, just so you know, you don't have to worry if you don't like it. I can get rid of it on your face really quickly. I have this homemade formula. It's all natural oils, but they get rid of makeup in a matter of a minute. Yeah, it's really fast. Really good. Yeah, I just, um, it's both my makeup remover and my... Uh, Nighttime moisturizer. I just mix a little bit of coconut oil and uh, olive oil, both of them organic, of course. And they're really good. They moisturize my skin, especially now during the winter when I get a little bit drier. And um, also get rid of my makeup. Yeah. Now, I think. I will do the temples. And then I will smudge it with this one. You know, it's still a little bit wet, but that's just good because that will make it look um, more authentic. It will look crazy. <laughs> yeah, I asked the reception, that's why I didn't put on any primer or anything like that because when someone have put on a moisturizer, that's all that's needed when uh, I'm doing the kind of makeup. I do. Even though it is Halloween, I like to do natural. And with natural, I mean I don't like to put on a lot of foundation or anything like that. So if there's not anyone that asks for a white face or a black face, you know, you don't want an entire, the entire face colored, I'm not use it anything like that. Yes, I am still learning, but I'm also trying to find my own methods. And I think I should be open for that. The other one. them. What's your favorite candy? Really? Well, I'm a sucker for chocolate, but at the same time, I don't know, I've changed a lot this past year. It's, it's no longer just a craving for one thing when I have a craving for eh, things to eat. I used to be the kind of girl that really didn't like to eat a lot of candy or anything like that, but every now and again I would eat. Like, oh, I want something sweet. But now, one day I can be like, oh, I really. 
I don't want something salty, like chips or something like that. I don't like licorice, but chips is super nice. And then the next day, making sure that it blends in all the way so that you won't see anything at the hairline. Yeah, I got some acne scarring and I guess that's a good thing now when it's Halloween because it makes me look even crazier. <laughs> now it's time for the notes. Now I will just use my pen. Sculpt it. And then we will use the brush. Yes, I am left handed. What are you? Okay. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of left handed people in this world, but. I guess I can live with it. <laughs> there's, it says there's a lot of pros with it. I don't really see a lot of the good thing with it, but that's just me. I found it difficult trying to learn things when I was little and everyone around me was right-handed. So I hope that no one that comes at me will be left-handed because I just feel sorry for them. Now it's time for cleaning up a little bit. There, because we won't use that brushing anymore. stay in the clean now. Now I will take your eyebrows and for your eyebrows I will again use this black pen but I will use this eyebrow brush to make sure they will still look real. It will look like a cartoonish eyebrow. It will be real looking. Okay. Yeah, you got beautiful eyebrows. Your entire face, that's something I found interesting with makeup on Halloween, that sometimes makeup that is supposed to make you look scary can actually make you at the same time look even more beautiful because you sculpt your face. If you do it the way I do it right now, like I think right now, good things about you just shines up in a way that makes you look even more beautiful. And with that I don't mean that you're not beautiful otherwise, I mean that we all have things that are, make us unique and that is what makes us beautiful. And the makeup helps us look even more unique. Yes, I would say that otherwise on a daily basis, I don't really use makeup because I'm a believer of being natural. I am a believer of loving yourself for who you are and not doing exactly what society wants you to, which is unfortunately to wear makeup every day and hide your so called flaws. While for me, I think sometimes your flaws are the things that makes you beautiful makes you here and there you got two bold eyebrows now it's just the eye left and just the last minute thought I 
It would be cool if um, I would use a color on you. And that is with the black. I will take the black and do a line. And then smudge it up to here. Where you see I got a little bit of a line. Up to the crease, yes. And then I will take this dark purple from the crease and around down here. Yes, it will be a little bit like a black eye, but it will look more like a demon or a witch than someone that has been in a fight. Yeah, or maybe like a zombie, yeah. If, we, if you would just have a little more greenish skin color, maybe. <laughs> Let me just set this up. And there I dropped a brush. Let me clean that up for you. There. All done. Excuse me, that was the bottle. There. So let's begin. Oh, yes, <laughs> thank you for reminding me. I'm just going to do a little bit of this on your eyebrows to help it stay. Well, I didn't do it because I still think your eyebrows look great. It's really not needed, but I guess it could give that final touch. Yeah. So let me just... And the other eye. It's time for the eyes. <laughs> so, like I said, first here and then there. Yes, I, I always like to have a mirror right beside my client, so I know what I'm saying is not like I want to do a line up here and then there. No, you never know how weird it can get if you don't have a mirror. <laughs> exactly. So, close your eye, please. Or you can just look down, look down on here on me, yes, that's why I have a t-shirt, to not make it look weird when I say that. Okay. Yes, it's not um, important to do a nice line. So I'm going to smudge it. What's important is that it's even on the lid. The other one. Like so. And then we use this little fella to smudge it, as you can see. If I do like It moves around nicely to create a smudging effect. Close your eyes and look here.
it's time for a little bit of purple, but first I will clean the brush again. Like so, wipe it off, get a little bit of purple, and now we roll. Again, close your eyes, look here, like that. down again. And then up. Good job. Yeah. Well, there's been some difficult people that have done their makeup, but I have to say, you're a really good customer here. Yeah doing an excellent job. Now I'm all done. Is there anything else you would like to do? Yeah, I thought that with the heavy eye, pale lips looks better. Because it's so dramatic. It makes you look more dead and more demon or witch-like. Yeah. yeah, you like it? Good. Yes, I had a great time too. I definitely hope that you will come here when you're going to an Halloween party or going out for trick or treat. Yeah. Yes, it was really nice meeting you too. Have a nice day or night.